In this clip we'll talk about making a template and documenting your rungs. The best way to use a standard program is to create a template and then change the name of it according to uh, the project. That saves you configuring I.O. And, and so forth. And I'll just run through the steps in doing that now. First of all open RS Logix and you'll get a blank screen like we have here. Click on New. Select your processor. We've got an L35E so we'll scroll down to that and choose it. And the revision number we'll use 13. And the name of the processor can be Template. We can even put a description there. This is a basic template program file. Okay, then we'll just save that. Logix will go away now and create the template for us and eventually open the new window. And here we are with a familiar view and we've got our L35E Ethernet port there and our local bus with no I.O. in it. Okay, the first thing we do is add some I.O. to it, so a new module, clear all, choose digital and we'll scroll to pick our 1769 OB32, well so we won't do that first because that's an output module. We'll pick the input module here which is an IQ32 and we'll go OK. Now we'll just call that inputs and it could be in slot 1 or whichever slot. Now we, all, we have a um, device net module on this simulator so we'll make that slot 2 and we'll give it a label this is the input module and go OK right click for another UE clear all once again digital and this time we'll get our OB32 and we'll call this outputs and this is an output module. Of course the description is optional we'll choose slot 3 for this one and OK once again and finally we'll get our communication device net scanner uh, B and we'll call it device net Oops. And it's in slot 1 and that's all we need to do ok so here we have our controller tree and we've got a controller called template we've got a standard program a standard blank program all ready to go so if we just now go save and you can save it to a location wherever you like. We chose that location before. That was in our in our normal directory. And now, if we go, uh, we can close this one now. So we'll close it. And then, if we go file open, it lives on our recent uh, files uh, list. So we'll just go that. Okay, and it'll open it. Now we go file save as and we can call it new project and save so by doing that we've left our template as it was and we've started a new file called new project now if you like you can go and change the uh, name of the processor called we'll call it uh, new project and apply those changes 
So there we have an easy way of creating a brand new program from a program file. So nothing there to work with, but certainly the I.O. are available for us. We can change the name of the controller. We can add I.O. to suit our new project. It's a very handy way. Um, one of the other things to remember is that you should document all of your rungs. So if we just add a couple of items here, um, just for the sake of the demonstration, and we'll give that a new tag, and we'll look in the alias tag, and we'll attach to one of our controllers, local to input, and say zero, and we'll call this uh, on and this could be the on switch and go OK and you'll notice here that we have a label for the tag and also a descriptive label we'll go here, right click, new tag and we'll call this started and we'll call this start output and we'll give it an alias in the controller and it's an output file so we sit down here to the and we'll give it output zero okay so there we go so that's a handy way of doing that and I think that's very well uh, done each time you're creating a project also you can document the rung and so we can go edit rung comment or control D and we can go this is an example of documentation I hope that spelling's correct and click the cross so if you describe each rung of program and label each component or element you'll be a lot better off when you go to look at the program in six months time or when a colleague wants to look at it and they can understand what you've done so that's templates and documentation.